Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. Kyoto University in Japan has developed a therapy to grow new teeth. It's hoped to work for both congenital lack of teeth and for those who have lost teeth. And it is going into human trial this September. To me, this is very exciting, as losing teeth is a common issue with age, and it would be great if we could replace them. Let's have a look at it in more detail. Much of the information on how the therapy works came from this 2020 paper, Development of Tooth Regenerative Medicine Strategies by Controlling the Number of Teeth Using Targeted Molecular Therapy. Though I have also referenced other papers and the university website. This is the team who have developed the technology and have authored most of the papers. They have also started a company to bring the solution to the market. As you know, humans have two sets of teeth. These are called milk teeth and the permanent teeth. They're also called the first and second dentition. It appears that there is a third dentition, which remains vestigial. For the replacement of lost teeth, the idea is to wake these up. In the case of congenital teeth deficiency, the hope is that the therapy will activate the growth of the teeth, which has been inhibited because of genetic factors. There is an enzyme, uterine sensitization associated gene 1, or USAG1, which controls other enzymes, including bone morphogenetic protein, or BMP. BMP is involved in the growth process for teeth. So this is part of the process of controlling that growth. Inhibiting USAG1 will lead to extra teeth growth in animal models. The therapy will be delivered intravenously rather than injected locally, as shown here, and is a monoclonal antibody which inhibits USAG1. This allows BMP and the downstream proteins to be activated and for the teeth to grow. The team have been working with animal models for more than 10 years and have shown that inhibiting USAG1 is enough to cause the teeth to grow. One thing I could not figure out is how it will only impact teeth where there is a gap in the mouth if it is not delivered locally. The team from the university, Drs. Takahashi Kiso and Takatani, have set up a company to make the therapy available. The company is called Torigen Biopharma, which is a contraction of tooth regenerative medicine. It is based in Kyoto, Japan. So what is the plan for testing this in humans? The first trial, a phase one trial to show safety will take place in the Katano Hospital in Osaka from this September and run until August, 2025. The participants will be 30 males aged between 30 and 64 who are missing one of their back teeth. The phase 2A trial will start after this, though at the moment there are no published dates. It will be in children aged 2 to 7 who genetically have at least 6 fewer teeth than normal, a condition called oligodontia, which impacts about 0.1% of the population. Missing teeth in children is more than just a cosmetic concern. Without the right teeth in place, the jawbone does not develop properly. Currently, there are no good therapies for this, except to use dentures and implants. The plan is then to also include patients missing from one to five teeth, called hypodontia, and eventually to help older people who have lost their teeth to replace them. The current schedule calls for the therapy to be in the clinic by 2030. As far as I'm aware, this is the first trial in humans to try regrowing teeth. The authors estimate that there are some 58 million, mostly elderly, elderly Japanese, who have missing teeth, and so would be good candidates for this therapy. One of the hopeful benefits will be that the extra dentition will allow them to have a more robust and healthy diet. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you all well.